Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is still Wednesday, August 31st, 2022. I am still the drunk Bokaru, and you know it's still beer time. We're going to stick with the Unibrew pack today. You know why? I just got a hankering for Belgian-style beers. I've been drinking a lot of IPAs lately, and I just feel like I deserve. I need a break from big hoppy beers. And I thought, and this pack is so good. Like it is, it is, because there's there's some packs that come out at Christmas time that always get me excited. That come over from Belgium, and I always get you know hyped up on them. This is Canadian, made here in Canada. Uh, yes, it's owned by Sapporo. I know some people, and some people will not drink stuff that's owned by the big companies, and that's that personal choices there. You're missing out on really good beer. Um, so we had the Twappy Style, and I looked up to see what I haven't made videos of before, and, and uh, I got uh, the Modit. Mo Deep. This one is the Dubel. Mm. Mm. Another 8% beer. Um, I fell asleep on the couch last night about five minutes after Mrs. Polk asked me if I was coming to bed and I slept till 4 o'clock this morning when Oreo climbed up on my chest and he was like, hey man, you waking up? I'm hungry. Uh, yeah, so I've been up a while. But I had the day off, so it was nice. Um, but this, this is something extra, man. This is a lot of my buddies there on the Twitters. They got excited for this pack. They were all drinking it and enjoying it. I'm pretty sure most of them had more than one of them. Um, I love a good Dubel. Dubel, double Dubel. You can smell that kind of caramelized sugar again. That kind of little orangey marmalade. Let's get into this. Cheers, my friends, to a pack of beer that really, really should be getting more hype than it is. It's it's pretty damn good. Cheers. Yeah, there it is again. There's that beautiful Belgian underlay, that Belgian esters, they kind of like, and you know it's there, but you're getting that kind of clove coriander. You get this nice caramelized like brown sugar, um, orange marmalade. Uh, it's got a very dry, like a spicy back finish, malty as all hell, right? This is a beautiful beer. Now, I was thinking this because, you know, I, I don't do much, and, and I really wish to I could reestablish some contact with some, some pals, you know, and hang out with people. But, uh, you know, it, to show up at a cottage or at a party and you, you drop this 12-pack this and you, this is your night... I mean, that that would be pretty awesome. I think this would be a fun pack to share. I think this would be a fun pack if you had friends who were, like, into Belgian beers to sit down and just sit out on the patio and just drink your way through them. Really, honestly, truly, there is a raft of beers here. Raft, man. Um, for, for Belgian-style beer lovers, mm, apologize. But I just, yeah, I don't know. As I was pulling through, I was like, man, imagine pulling these out and sticking them in the cooler and, and talking with people. I miss people. Anyways, I'm going to go finish this beer, have a couple more, and then I'm going to go sit inside with the boys for a little bit and do my cat dad job, and then uh, back to work tomorrow. So, Coke loves you. Stay safe. And get yourself a damn Unibrew pack, because you're missing out, man. Don't miss out. Cheers. Mrs. Polk's going to come home. I'm just going to be drunk. Out here, on Belgian beers... On Quebec Belgian beers, and it's going to be fabulous. <laughs> That's only my second beer, by the way.